case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a landmark ruling involving Social and Groceries Supermarkets Inc., SGSM, former employees claimed victory in pursuing pension benefits denied after a company sale. The legal dispute, Muzmechi v. SGSM, was heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit in 2003 dealing with complex issues around employee rights, pension management, and insurance coverage. The case revolved around SGSM's terminated grocery voucher plan after the company was sold, a program that had been initiated in 1985 to offer retirees free groceries. The former employees, now plaintiffs, argued that they were owed pension benefits, a contention backed by the court's determination that the voucher plan fell within the scope of the Employee Retirement Income Security Act of 1974, ERISA. The initial ruling went against SGSM, finding the supermarket chain, subsequently a subsidiary of SGSM Inc., in breach of its fiduciary duty under ERISA. The court not only held SGSM and its major stakeholder, John Schwegman Jr., accountable as plan administrator, plan sponsor, and plan fiduciary, respectively, but also obligated them to provide monetary relief to plaintiffs equivalent to the denied benefits. Challenging the initial ruling, defendants appealed, with notable focus on the treatment of the claims and the application of the self-insured retention, sir, provision in insurance company, USF&G's policy, covering SGSM's liability. The appellate court rather than considering all plaintiffs under a single claim, viewed each as a separate case triggering the CR clause individually for each plaintiff. This nuanced interpretation mandated that each claim needed to exceed the stipulated $250,000 to hold USF and G liable. This reassessment resulted in an overturn of judgment against USF and G. Yet the verdict on SGSM and the Schwegman defendants remained, affirming that they were in violation of ERISA by denying their retired employees the promised pension benefits. The case was then remanded back to the district court for revised judgment, marking a pivotal moment in the legal understanding of company liabilities, pension rights, and insurance policies in the face of company sales and restructuring. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.